The Weed of the Week brought to you by Show Me Shortline and the Richiger Flexigrain Storage System. Affordable, flexible storage is here. Richiger R-Series bagger and unloader from Show Me Shortline. Maximize your profits with adaptable storage and management. Reduce storage costs and gain a competitive edge by selling at the right time. Visit us online at showmeshortline.com. Our weed of the week wouldn't be so difficult to control if it wasn't resistant to Roundup in some parts of the country. <laughs> yep, it is common ragweed. And again, our weed of the week isn't just common ragweed, it's Roundup resistant common ragweed. Now don't get us wrong, it's not resistant to Roundup everywhere in every part of the country. But we farm in the state of South Dakota and there are some areas where it literally is declared resistant to Roundup. So how are you going to manage this weed? when you can't kill it with Roundup anymore. All right, we have to get back to common sense farming here instead of, you know what, I'm just gonna go plant and if something comes up, I'll spray Roundup on it, it'll kill it even if it's big. That doesn't work anymore. We have to start thinking about weed control the right way. And when I say the right way, I mean thinking about it in more than one pass. Start with something pre-emerged to control it or start with a clean field, whether that's tilling the first flush under something, but get that first flush out of the way so there aren't so many common ragweeds later on. Okay, let's talk about the pre-emerged herbicides in corn, soybeans, and wheat. Let's start in wheat just because Nobody uses a pre-emerge yeah, herbicide. Yeah, pre-emerge herbicide in wheat. Right. What are you talking and about? I, I don't understand that. We use a pre-emerge herbicide in our wheat. I just think it's a good move whether you're going to use Valor or Prepare or something. Put a pre-emerge herbicide down in your wheat. It'll make everything go so much smoother later on. And you know, either of those products will help you out on common ragweed. Now you may not be able to spray them the day that you're planting your wheat. You may have to spray them a little bit ahead. So do consult the labels to see what the the pre-plant intervals well, are prepare, with those you, prepare you could spray after you planted the wheat. It's the valor that you've got to have out there a while before planting the wheat. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, let's move into the Roundup crops. Roundup corn, Roundup soybeans. What are we going to do for pre's? Okay, well with common ragweed, some of the pre's are okay, some are not so good. Like let's take Trefland, Sonlan, and Prowl and soybeans for example. They do a decent job on common ragweed control uh, early yeah. in the season. But it's not going to be enough that it's going to wipe I, them all. Personally, off. I think they're pretty lousy. I'd I, much, I think they'll I'd get about fifty percent, so no they're going to wipe out no half way. of it. I think I'd way rather use Valor or Sencor down, do something like that, and you'll have much better result or authority assist or anything. But Trefland, Sandline, and Prowl are pretty weak. Turning, well, here, here would be the other one, would be authority first. If you're throwing some yeah, first yeah, rate out early, but, that does a nice job, but I prefer to save that chemistry right. for later. That's what it's, I was just It's more say. effective post-emerge for me, and it's my best rescue So, so what choice. he's saying is put a Valor or a Sencor or something down early, then follow with first rate along with your Roundup post-emerge. First rate is the best thing post-emerge you can use on common ragweed. Otherwise, you have to go with something like Cobra, Ultra Blazer, Phoenix, okay, those now, bigger Okay, now don't forget the new product, Kixor. That could be something too, whether it's straight sharpen or point. one of the combinations yep. like Optil. That's going to be a good option for a lot of these broadleaf weeds and, and soybeans. And the Kixor would be good in corn too. You could use a Kixor combination like Integrity, which is Outlook and Kixor. Otherwise, you could use Balance Pro. Post-emerge in corn, we got a lot of options there. Status would be the best, but there are many other products that would work just fine too, Callisto, Loudus, and several others. So don't get too nervous when you see our Weed of the Week out there and find out that it is Roundup resistant. There's still plenty of chemicals that will control this weed safely for you on your farm. That's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.